Hey, Dad, I'm calling from my history class. So, who was president when you were a kid? Oh, I don't know. I guess I think about killing myself pretty frequently. And why not? What's so great about a living? You know when I'm happy? For about five seconds in the morning when I first wake up. Before I remember who I am and what my life is all about. Anxiety. Disappointment. Diarrhea more often than not. I don't... I don't know if there's an afterlife. But who cares? Nothingness couldn't be any worse than this meaningless march through my empty days. He's right. It's pointless. Life dismissed. Oh, it's free ready. Well, back to the show. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, Roger. You can still live a full life. Can I, Steve? I'll never see another Thomas Kincaid or a fat guy falling over on a rascal. I guess I'll just have to kill myself. Roger, I know a place where you can meet people. <gasps> I'm not a pylon, but you probably could have done a little better job with this whole suicide thing. I mean, you own guns. I lose all the time, and I'm not suicidal. I just cry and get over it. That's what life is, Dad. Losing and crying. You lose one time, and you go straight to hanging yourself. Go ahead, Dad. Well, goodbye, son. One piece of advice before I go. Don't marry an egg. It's obvious what you have to do, Steve. You have to kill yourself. Francine hates you. You should kill yourself in the motel off the freeway. Are you trying to get rid of me? That's ridiculous. Why would I want to get rid of you? I love you. Let's have sex. Go wait for me in the motel off the freeway. Do you know how guilty I feel? Knowing that firefighter died so I could live? And now next week, I'm supposed to tell everyone what I did with that life? I've done nothing with my life. Kill yourself. Do it. Shut up, Klaus. You've done stuff with your life. You made me, Mommy. Any dumbass can have dumbass kids. <gasps> Mama, no. <laughs>